Order. Who came last night? Who came to our house last night when we were sleeping? An elf. Did our elf come last night? Yeah. Oh, I think our elf is somewhere downstairs. What do you think, Avery? He said, go find it. <gasps> Should we find him? We're I all in our Christmas jammies because it's December 1. Even Avery. Hi, Eves. Oh, boy. Go find the elf. Are we ready to go find the elf? Yeah. Okay, let's go see if we can find him. Mommy, you go behind. Okay, I'm behind you. Avery and I bring up the rear. We go look for it out. Yes. Oh, I think I see him. <gasps> you see the elf? Yeah. <gasps> oh, my goodness. <gasps> what is it? Our elf. Our elf, and what has he brought? A note. A note? It says, Dear Grace and Christmas time is very near. And it's my favorite time of the year because I get to visit my friends stay until the season ends. I supply you every day as I find a new place to stay. Every night to the dark point I go, after that, I make my way home. But I may get into mischief as I will. To keep my magic safe, please do not touch. For that, I thank you very much. Merry Christmas, your elf. Oh, oh wow. wow. So do you know what that note says? Play-Doh. It's not Play-Doh. It's PJ Masks. It's PJ Mask toys. So look, our, our elf <laughs> gave us not one, not two, but three advent calendars. So these, each one, we get to open one box a day from these calendars. And they have a book or a PJ Masks toy inside. <laughs> and this, the elf, he has come from the North Pole hole from Santa and he's going to stay at our house until Christmas to watch us and make sure that we're being good and making good choices. Are you waving to the elf porter? That's so cute. So first we need to decide what we want to name our elf. I want to name our elf. Hmm. Last year we named him Present. So we could do that again. I'm gonna name him Bobby. Bobby! No, we need to do something like Christmassy. I'm gonna call him Stocking. Stocking? You wanna name him Stocking? Yeah. What about you, Port? You think we should name him Stocking? Yes, we can. Okay, this year our elf will be stalking the elf. Stalking the elf. And every night he's going to fly to the North Pole and tell Santa if you guys have been good for the nice list or bad for the naughty list. And then after he goes to Santa, he comes back every night while we're sleeping and then he goes and sits in a new spot. So every morning we have to come and find our elf because he's going to be all around our house. But the number one rule with our elf is you can't touch him. You can't touch the elf because if you touch him, then he loses his magic. And he can't fly back to the North Pole. Okay? So you can't watch him. You can just, I mean, you can't touch him. You just watch him, Okay. All right, let's begin with this storybook collection advent calendar. This is Porter's favorite thing to do. He rides his scooter up and down the driveway over and over and over. Like oh, of course, I pulled the camera out. Okay, let's go inside. No, that one. Come on, let's go show the vlog what books we got. 
from from our advent calendar. And Avery's ready for a nap. Let's go show the vlog what we got from our advent calendar. This is my phone. And Avery's ready for nap. All right, so it's a little later in the day, but we have opened up our advent calendars. We got two books, and then we opened up this PJ Mask one, and we got Gecko. Oh yeah, here he is. Gray put him back in there. I think he's sleeping, but we got a Gecko. She's just like a little character from this show. And then this is one of the books. I don't know where the other one is, but. 101 Dalmatians. And now, what did we just finish doing? Making a letter for Santa. We're going to make, yeah, we just made letters for Santa, and we're going to put them in our mailbox so that Santa knows what we want for Christmas. Can I show them what you wrote? Avery's over here. She's getting tired of bouncing. Hi, Avery. Porter, do you got your letter too? Yes. Okay, it's let's... In my notebook. Okay, can you pull it out? I want to see what it says. Here's Grayson's. He's folded it up probably about a million times. Grayson says, to Santa from Grayson. And it says, dear Santa, I want Minecraft for Christmas, Romeo's Bots, big toy for me to play with. To Santa from Grayson. So that's Grayson's. And then Porter, what about yours? Porter, I helped him write his. His says, I want Play-Doh, Spider-Man, and Minecraft. Oh boy, so both the boys went and got envelopes and we're gonna Mommy. address them to Santa and put them in the mailbox. Mommy. Hmm. Avery's not gonna do it because she's a little too, too young. Maybe in a couple years, but the boys are excited, huh? Santa hat. Oh my goodness. She still hasn't quite figured out crawling yet, huh? But we're getting close. I just brought a bunch of her toys over to try to entice her to crawl, but I don't think it's really working. Felix is behind her. He loves sleeping under the tree. There's our tree. We got a new star this year. Oh, there he is. And I changed up the ribbon. And the boys helped me decorate it, so it's a lot of clumped ornaments together. But that's okay. That makes it homey, right? What do you think? Anthony and I just got a sound bar. It's kind of hidden by our garland. That's our Christmas gift to each other this year. We like it. And got the stockings up. Anthony actually took the boys downstairs. Well, they were doing hide and seek and now they're playing games downstairs. And so I'm just kind of reveling in the quiet with Avery up here. We're having a girls night while well, they have a boys night downstairs. So it's kind of fun. And I forgot to tell you guys, we ended up naming our elf Stocking. Last year, I think it was Present. But this year, they picked Stocking. I think every year we're just going to change it to a new name because that's kind of fun. I know a lot of people like to keep the same name, but what's the fun in that? So we're going to do a different name every year. But Grayson's been very stressed because our elf has just been on the table and so a lot of times like he'll get bumped accidentally not by like a hand but by like one of our advent calendars or a book and so he falls over a lot and then like we'll go away and then when we come back the elf will magically be sitting up again and Greg keeps asking like how that happens I'm like oh he has to use a little magic to get himself to sit back up but don't push him over anymore because he's gonna run out of magic and then he can't go back to the north pole and grayson ever since i said that has been very stressed that the elf will not have enough magic to go back to the north pole tonight 
And he was like, how do we know he has enough magic? And I'm like, I don't know, Gray. He doesn't talk. <laughs> so, yeah, Gray's been stressed about that, which is very Grayson. But, yeah, we'll see where our elf ends up tonight. I told him when he comes back, he needs to be somewhere up high so that he doesn't get knocked over every five seconds. Are you grumpy? I'm not paying attention to you. I don't know what it is. Avery has been really grumpy this whole week. She's going through a leap, so it could be that. She's also teething, and her cheeks have been really pink, so it could be that too. It's just like she always wants to be held, which is like not her personality. And even if I'm like on the ground like I am now playing with her, she's grumpy, and it's just not Avery. I don't know. It could also be that she's like frustrated because she wants to crawl or stand. Or sit and she can't figure it out yet. I don't know, but it's not fun. Huh. We're doing our helmet break. I'm still waiting for insurance to get back to me about helmet number two. So we'll see if we do it or not. Kind of depends on what they quote us. Yeah.